Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. It's good to meet you with another video. Uh, in this video, we, we will see about setting up the SIP for VLAN 1849 in Gen 6 modem. Uh, this is the third video in a row. Uh, so if you want to know the general procedure for setting up SIP for VLAN 1849, there is a video which is given the card above. You can watch that in this video specifically the setting for GN Genesis modem is done. So let's get into the video. As usual, after connecting the modem to the laptop, we will open a browser and enter the default gateway of the device. In this case it is 192.168.1.1. After entering the default gateway, I have to enter the login credentials and login. Once you have logged in, you can see the uh, default status page and after that, see the yeah. go to netinfo, you will see that you can see the WAN connection there. See if you watch clearly, there, um, the two interfaces are different. The reason is because I couldn't get the exact device in hand so I am compiling multiple videos and uh, from different clients and making it a single video. So we will select the net and go to van. Uh, as the first procedure, uh, as, I told, as I have said in the other videos, we have to remove the binding from the internet van. So when we do this, uh, like every other video, we are following the same procedure in here also. We are removing the binding from the internet van. And once the binding is removed and applied, there is a problem in this device which, which means the internet disconnects. You can't use internet, you, will connect, you can connect to your Wi-Fi but the internet does not work. Uh, so for that, uh, see to make the internet work, the client has again binded the port. So what I have to do for that is, you have to delete the wind, uh, voice band first. So that's what we are doing here, we are deleting the voice band. And after deleting the voice van, we can delete, uh, sorry, we can remove the binding ports from the internet van. So in this way, the disconnection problem will not happen. The internet works flawlessly. So here that is happening here, see, the binding port is removed after deleting the voice van. So once this is done, now we can give a new WAN connection and select the BRR service as voice internet and that is we are adding the voice WAN now and you can give the relevant settings here change the link mode to IP because it is a DHCP type setting and the VLAN ID is 1849 the other settings are usually normal make sure that net is enabled and after that click apply or sorry ok in this case After it is done, see, you can see in the status page that both the vents have turned up. Now in the voice page that is blank. The reason is because I haven't configured the voice here. Uh, it is good to leave it blank for configuring SIP. And now in the ping test we will ping the SIP address of this, uh, of this state. Uh, this, this client is from Karnataka, so the SIP address goes as ktk.ftth.bims.bsnl.in And see, once the ping test runs, the domain SIP address will resolve into an IP. Uh, there is no purpose for this uh, commonly, but note this down. It will be useful in later. So after you note this down, come back to status netinfo. And again note the default gateway of the voiceman, which is circled here. So, and you have noted down, noted down the SIP address, the resolved SIP address and the default gateway. Now, come to root and static root. Enter the destination at as 172.0.0.0 which, why 172 is because 172 is the, D, uh, I mean the default DNS for why starts with 172. So, we are uh, adding a static root with 172 and the uh, gateway which we copied you have to enter it here and select the voice by internet and apply. Once done, I using first static root is added. Now we have to do add a second static root. 
This is 10.0.0.0. This is because the first set of digits for the SIP address, the resolved SIP address starts with 10. So we are doing that here. And once uh, both static routes are added, when we try to ping, and see the ping succeeds here. When we try to ping the SIP, but this does not happen in any other devices, but it happens in uh, the Genesis device. I don't know how it happened. There, there is one more setting if you have watched the general procedure. So I don't know how it happened, but it is working in Genesis. So with that in mind, I mean, with seeing the uh, uh, with seeing the SIP working, I mean the SIP ping, I have downloaded the Cypher here. And after downloading the Cypher install it and this is the first page of after installing. You have to enter the username which is plus 9 on followed by I mean before that guys the setup in the modem is over only changing the van and adding the static routes. Now we will enter the username here which is plus 9 on followed by area code followed by landline number and the password is FTTH at followed by four last four digits of your landline number. This is the password commonly used for VLAN 1849 across India from Kashmir to Kanyakumari from Gujarat to Arunachal. This is the format that is used. So after you have entered the username and password click login and in the host name or uh, here you have to enter your SIP address uh, in this case the client as the client is from Karnataka I mean as the device is from Karnataka I am entering ktk.ftdk.ims.bsnl.in if you want to know the SIP address for your state particularly there is a link in the telegram channel in our telegram channel you can see that also so in this page you click uh, enable the optional authentic and outbound proxy enter the outbound proxy as the same as the SIP address you can also enter the reserved SIP address in this page which is the IP address, IP type of the SIP but if you enter it in the uh, domain page it does not work so there will, there will be two places where you have to enter the SIP address one you should enter the exact domain and the outbound proxy you can enter the reserved type address also uh, so after entering the, the other username is the same as the username so but here something bad happened guys so the setting did not work, the PUDP did not succeed. So the reason is because we didn't do the that, that setup which is adding a uh, manual DNS in your network adapter. Uh, but why I didn't do at first is because uh, only adding the static root ping to the SIP server which is ktk.ftdh. Otherwise for other devices it does not happen. Uh, so but that is, uh, that is partially I mean that is that didn't work exactly so we are adding a uh, sorry manual dns here see from the voice internet page i mean from the status and page under voice internet there will be a dns in the primary section you have to copy that and enter the dns here as the primary dns sorry that's the preferred dns server and as an alternate dns server you can use anything of your choice and i am entering google dns yes google dns i am entering here which is 8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. There are other DNS also, uh, which is AnyCast DNS, BSNL DNS, etc. Mm, so after adding the static root, sorry, uh, changing the adapter, the SIP UDP succeeds. So after uh, so, the general procedure is that you have to do three settings, which is um, changing the van, adding two static routes, and uh, that procedure changing the adapter. So after SIP UDP succeeds, you can do the basic settings in the Swipe and see so you can use the call feature. Uh, instead of Cypher, you can use MicroSIP and in the mobile you can use GS Wave. Uh, there are many more apps for this feature, but Cypher is the most commonly used one. So, if you have to do in the, in the same settings in mobile, uh, click long, long press on the Wi-Fi and see the Wi-Fi settings opens. And you have to uh, edit the, click edit in the Wi-Fi which you are connected, not every Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi of BSNL. Which, uh, sorry, the modem. Do you have the modem? using the BSNL network. So here the IP settings you have to change from DHCP to static. Once you have changed the IP to static, you have to enter the IP address manually but in this option you can skip in the PC but it is mandatory in the mobile settings. So uh, since your gateway is 192.168.1.1 .1 .1, here, here I have changed it. So it is 18, but in newer devices by default it is 1.1. So you have to enter the uh, up to that set as similarly, and the last bit you can enter any digit from 2 to 200 to 250. So here I have entered 50 only. 
and the dns one as i said in the pc as i said in the pc here also the primary dns goes as the os van dns which is 172.32.249.11 here the 11 varies for different states some states it is 9 some states it is 3 etc so check carefully and the dns2 you can use anything of your choice so why we are using the first dns as the voice dns is because uh, then only the zip is working the zip directly ping uh, passes through the voice dns first and it pings this if it, if it takes time your latency will increase and your voice may not work so here you can see the cpudb succeeds so with this the setup is done guys thank you for watching and kindly subscribe to the channel as well and if you like the video press like and share and subscribe